Hi everybody and welcome. It is time for our Fusion Fitness Workout. So I'll let everybody load into class. So great to see you here. Joelle, you're the first one here. You are so awesome. You are so keen. I gotta follow you on your workouts as well. Um, so um, some of you know Joelle. She used to teach with us here in Calgary. She now has her own place, the Energy Lab in um, Ontario, and they're running live workouts as well. So be sure to check them out because um, lots of fun classes going on there as well. So a few more people are coming into class. So good to have you coming in on this, I had to think about it Thursday afternoon. I have to really think about what day it is these days. I have to keep going back to my calendar and looking at it going, oh, it's Thursday. Okay, so it's Thursday. And um, we are going to do about a 40 minute class. Um, so prepare yourself for that. All you need today is a mat, space around you so that you can move and uh, your own body weight. This is gonna be our resistance today. So your body weight is your resistance for the workout today. So the Fusion Fitness format, just so that you get familiar with it, is based on functional movement patterns. So squats, lunges, planks, pushing, pulling. So we're gonna do functional movements, we'll do it song by song. So for example, if we're into a squat, we're gonna go for a whole song, and then when we're done that, we are done that, we're not coming back to it and push-ups, we'll do it for a song, we won't come back to it. So if you're feeling like, I really don't like this exercise, no, it'll only be for one song and then we're done. All right, so um, it is time to start. We're gonna warm it up and then get into it, yeah? Mark in your calendar, tomorrow is stretch. So work this class really hard, because tomorrow at noon we're stretching it out so we can let go of all the tension. I'm gonna play some music for us, get us a, a rhythm, <laughs> keep me on um, track as well, and get going here. So bring your feet about hip or shoulder width apart. So find that comfortable stance for you. Take a deep breath, inhale, raise up, and as you exhale, soften your knees, come down. Inhale, do it again. Exhale, come down. So let's just connect our breath and our body because maybe you just have stood up from sitting at your computer all day. Reach your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers, open up the chest and breathe. Ah, uh, that feels good, right? It's like, ah, oh. ah. Oh. Good, and then release and roll the shoulders back. Reach one arm up, the other hand reaches towards the floor and find that length in the side of your body. And then go the opposite way, lengthen it out. One more time each way, reach and lengthen, reach and lengthen. Yeah, and then come back to the center. Deep breath, inhale, raise up. As you exhale, open your legs out a little bit wider. Take a deep breath up. You're gonna take the arms out to the side. Right arm goes over and pulls back. So we reach and pull. Now, as you go through this, go at a tempo that feels good for you. If I'm going too fast, you go at your tempo. Keep it going for four more. Good. Three more. Two. And now hold. Hold it there. Now, really reach away from that foot. So you create a lengthening from the foot all the way through the side of the body. Then curve your spine and reach the corner. And feel it run along your back into your arm, your lats. Inhale, lift up, exhale, bring it down. Let's go the opposite way, reach and pull. So you go out and pull. So lengthen, pull it down. So just warming up, preparing our body for the work. Good, for four, for three, add a little resistance as you pull, good. And this time take it over and hold. Now extend all the way from that foot, all the way through the hip, the ribs, lengthen it out. Pull the abdominal muscles in, curve your spine, you reach, and round, so you feel that stretch through the lats, the back. Good. Inhale, open, and then rib cage side to side. So you just feel the movement of the rib cage side to side. So gliding the ribs over top of the pelvis. So start to become aware of your core body, right? Your core is your center. It is your power center, right? When we have ignited through the core, it makes every exercise easier. Take a deep breath. Inhale, raise up. Parallel your feet. Exhale, hands to your thighs. Bend into your legs. Now, find a stance that feels comfortable for you to go from a squat to a stand. Squat to a stand. So we're wider than a normal squat. We're pushing into the hips and standing up. Keep it going. I'm going to turn up a bit of volume here. Okay, keep it going. Two more. One more. Then come down. As you hold it here, take your fingertips towards the floor and see if you can settle deeper into your hips and then just rock right and left. We just create a little bit of opening in the hips as you rock right and left. Good. Working through it. Good. Then hold here. Walk your hands forward. Walk your knees in and come to a kneeling position. 
Inhale as you exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the back, tuck the chin in towards your chest and feel that stretch. And then you inhale, create length. So just warming up the spine. Exhale, curve. Inhale, create length. Two more times. Exhale, curve. Inhale, create length. This time, round it out, hold it there, hold it there. And then just move the ribs to the right and to the left. Let the elbows bend easily. Good. And then come to the center. Good. So taking your right hand, bring that hand behind your head. Open up the chest and ribs and then touch the elbow to the inside of the opposite elbow. So you rotate the spine, come in. Open and in. The little rotation in the rib cage we'll call T-spine mobility. One more time. Open, come in and let that arm go down. Recenter yourself. Pick up the opposite arm behind your head. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, come in. So this is a fairly fast-paced class today, right? Unlike the Pilates and the yoga class, we're really focused on quality. We're focusing on movement. Yes, of course, with quality, but trying to move a little bit quicker. One more time, and come center. Hands come down, curl your toes under, float your knees, find your core body, and then lift up, press back into the heels. In that inverted V, shake out the tension of your neck and shoulders. Walk your hands towards your feet. Soften the knees, round the back, and roll up. All the way up to standing. Take a deep breath here in. As you exhale, tuck the chin, curl down so we feel the stretch in the back of the body. All the way from hips to heels, roll up. Good. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, curve down. Draw the abdominal muscles in, support your spine, roll yourself up. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, last time down. Curve. And roll yourself up. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, open. That is your warm up. We're going to go into our squat series. Okay, so let's start in a parallel squat. Now, your parallel squat can be directly underneath your hips or a little bit wider. Toes can be slightly turned out if that's more comfortable for you. You determine the best squat alignment for you. Sit back into the hips. And as you sit back into the hips, I'd like you to imagine if you were to drop a plumb line off the front of the knee, it would come right to the ball of the foot. So the weight is back into your hips. This is strong. We're strong back here. This is where we want the work to be. Then lift the abdominals up. Settle into the hips. Pick up your toes and wiggle them. Wiggle them. All right, so think about this good technique all the way through. All right, two counts up. One, two up. One, two down. One, two up. One, two down. So the hips are moving back at the same time, simultaneously, with the knees and the ankles bending. So we're sitting back in the hip. Really feel like you're moving back to the hip and then you're driving the standing up from the gluteal. Good, so we're an add-on. Push one leg back, in. All right, so for those of you who are cross country skiers, right, it's that push back of the ski, right? You're pushing it back, coming in. Now when you push back, Again, ignite your glute. Make the glute do the majority of the work. Your hamstring will follow through. This is our squat song. So have fun with it. Good. Four more. We start now. Four, three, two. Hold it down. Right. Isometrics. Pick up your toes. Lift the chest up, but stay down into the hips. Stay down into the hips. Now think happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Now, imagine if you were to cut your thigh into three parts. Bottom third, middle, top. I want you back in the top. Feel the work in the top. Now shift it to a little bit up so you come to the one third, and then shift it, and then back down. So we're back here, then we're here, then we're here, and then we're down. We're from here, to here, to here, and then back down. So back into the hips, middle of the thigh, front of the thigh, down. So back of the thigh, middle of the thigh, top of the thigh, down. Do it again. From the back, to the middle, to the top, down. Hold it here. Up and down. Ooh. Anything starting to happen for you. I know, like suddenly air squat with no weight feel like a lot of work, right? So we hold what's called time under tension. When the muscle is in tension, 
for a period of time, you're gonna get overload. Four more, three more, two more, come and hold. Time under tension, wiggle your toes, breathe, breathe. Now we skate it back, we're gonna skate side. So push out, push out. Now imagine you're feeling resistance against your leg on the outside as you press out. So we're pressing straight out from the hip. So good, right? Who's gonna be happy about getting rid of these squats? Right? So good to see you all here again. So four more, three more. So pushing right from the side of the glute. Two more, one, squat hold. Remember the three parts of the quad? Back, middle, up, sit down. Back, middle, up, sit down. Back, middle, up, sit down. We're almost there. Back, middle, up, sit down. Two more. Back, middle, up, sit down. One more time. Back, middle, up, sit down, stand up. Oh, tap it out. Nicely done. Who wants to get the push-ups over with? I do. Let's get them done. Let's get them all done. Okay, so let's come to the top of your mat. A little yoga to get there. All right, so come into mountain pose. Arms down the side, inhale, extend your spine. Exhale, hinge forward. Lengthen your spine, bend your knees, hands come down, walk back to your plank. Got it. Now, I'm gonna give you advice here. We have three and a half minutes of push-ups. So, tricep startups. You may wanna do these on your knees, okay? So knees or toes, Hug your upper arms into your side body, lower two counts. Come down one, two, up two. Inhale as you lower, exhale up. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you come up. Okay, so more important than how many reps you do here is that when you come down, your upper arms brush your ribs and you only go down to where you can keep your shoulders away from your ears. If this starts to happen and this starts to happen, you are gonna wreck your shoulders. Pull it in, keep it tight, keep it tight. Good, four more. You got this. One more. And rest. Ooh, that was so good. So good, now your hands are gonna walk wide. And we're gonna do what I like to, to refer to as a back push-up, because your back muscles should feel it as much as your front muscles. So come down all the way. Now, toes and knees, arms, thumbs straight out from your shoulders. Lift your elbows up so your forearms create a vertical line and you look a little bit like a bug, right? Like a bug. Now push the hands down and you're gonna feel your back muscles. And rest, do that again. Push your hands down, feel your back muscles. And rest. So you feel the back muscles as soon as you push up. So it's chest and shoulder on the way down, back and shoulder on the way up. Toes your knees, here we go. Push up. So you're nice and wide, so we get these big muscles from your shoulder right into your lat. Shoulder and lat. Keep it going. Do as many reps as you can, and then you take the break when you need it. That means you've overloaded. Right? Don't feel like you have to keep going if you're like, I am done. Two more. One more. And rest. Woo. Okay. Next one. Overhead push-up. Everybody arms overhead. Right? If you were doing an overhead press in the weight room, right, that's the distance you want to have your arms. So it's a little bit wider. It's not straight in here, it's wide. We're gonna do an overhead press. If you can do a handstand, go ahead, but don't wreck anything in your house. Okay, so here you go. Come up, walk your feet in, tuck your chin, hands wide. Lift your heels up, get your body weight over top of your arms, top of the head down. All right, so it's an upside down overhead press. Your body is gonna to wanna to go to a push-up. Make sure it's in the shoulder, not in the chest. So it's right overhead, right overhead. Two 
two more, one more, and knees down, rest. Oh, your push-up set is done. Thank goodness, right? Okay, so, lunge set. One foot comes forward. Find that vertical alignment from your knee to your ankle. So that's vertical, spread that foot. Back toe curls under. Body's vertical, arms out. Float up, float up. Okay, now come to the lowest place you can hold in your lunge. The lowest place you can hold in your lunge, okay? So, if you can get to a 90 degree bend in that front leg, get to a 90 degree bend, and then the back leg is where it's comfortable. Maybe it's further back, maybe it's tighter in, all right? Body's vertical. Here we go. Lift up and lower. Good. So I want you to notice, as we switch the body position, how it changes what you sense in your legs. Right now, you should feel the quad doing a lot of the work. So the front quad's doing work, and you're gonna feel your back leg as well. But notice when we change, what happens? Last four, last three, two, and then come down and hold. Now, hip hinge. Your legs are gonna keep this shape. You're gonna hinge forward, so your torso weight goes over this front leg. Arms open out to the side. Now you should start to feel it shifting into this gluteal, yeah? Yeah, so body stays angled. You reach out, pull in. Out, pull back. So the arms are doing a high row. Row or a lat pull. Pull. Now create resistance with the upper body as if the air became very heavy and very thick as you pull. But the body stays hinged at an angle over that front thigh. Are you feeling it? Yeah? I hope so. Okay? One more. Good. And then hold. Good. Hold here. All we're going to do is lift, lower. Lift, lower. Try and lift straight up the vertical line here. Straight up. Straight up. Keep it working. So it's a single leg lift and lower for four and three. Last two. Is this enough? And one. Hold it, hold it. Small pulse and pulse. Four, three, two, one. Step up. Switch sides. Come down. Ready? Go up and lower. Up and lower. It makes this lunge feel easy now, right? Feels easy compared to the other one. Keep it going. Now the depth of your lunge is what will, what your range of motion will let you do. Try to keep the hips square, shoulders aligned over top of the pelvis, and we're going straight up and down. Okay, now hold it down, hold it down. Hinge, hinge, core strong, arms out. Woo, I'm waiting for the beat. Here we go. Reach, row, reach. Body's angled. Legs are still lunging. So your leg position hasn't changed. All you've done is take the weight of your torso, put it over that front leg, working it out here. All right, for those of you just joining us, just pick it up wherever you are. Catch up. All right. Woo. Pull in. Resisting it. Come down, hold. And now lift. Lift. Are you ready? Up, lower. Up, lower. So you're projecting that weight over that front leg. Leg is going vertical. Leg is going to go vertical. You're almost done your lunging, which is so good, right? Four, three, two. Hold it down. Hold it down. Good. Hands down. Step back. Downward facing dog. Oh. Roll out the feet. Roll it out. Okay. Ooh, bend your knees, come down. We have a plank series. Now remember, at any time in the plank, if you need to come to forearms, come to forearms. If you need to rest, rest. Come to knees. Okay. Here we go. Spread the hands. Curl the toes. Walk your legs right together. Okay. So let's just perfect our plank. 
perfect your plank. So stay where you are, spread your hands, press into the thumb mound, and then equally into the little finger. That's gonna excite the muscles on the front of the arm and the back of the arm. So they're gonna take equal loads. So we're not loading too heavy in the front or too heavy in the back. Equal between the front and back. Keep that. Inhale as you exhale, lift the abdominal wall up. Now bend the knees a little bit, and now firm the legs by drawing the quadricep muscles up and tracking the kneecap up. This is your perfect plank, right? Three, four, three, two, one. Lift the hips up, small break. Okay, let's take the right leg up. Left. Now bring this right knee directly down the center of your mat from your perfect plank again. Pull it, just hover. Just hover. Good, now the leg is going to go out and across. So we do a pendulum swing with that leg. Out and across. Out and across. So it's a bent knee pendulum. I'll show you from this angle. How many more? Four, three, two, one. Push up and back. Bring that leg down. Rest if you want. Pick up the other leg, come forward, and hover. Hover, I'm gonna show you from this angle. Good. Now swing, open and across. Open and across. But try and keep the shoulders still. The hip is swinging that leg. And as the hip swings that leg, the whole core body, three-dimensionally, has to stabilize you. Keep it going, keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Push it up. Oh. Woo. Come down, plank. Good. Take your left knee in, thread it through, open up. Yeah. Hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. Hang on to there. Now you got a choice. You can keep that foot down or lift it. Four, three, two, go back. Oh, down dog. All right. Come in, opposite leg in, thread through, open up. Keep the foot down or lift it. You're almost there. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one hand comes down. Go back. Down dog. Oh. Breathe. Good. Come to plank. Lower down. Inhale up dog. Exhale back down dog. Good. Lift your heels, bend your knees, jump or step in. Exhale, fold over your legs, and then come all the way to standing. Wow. Open it out. Okay, that's your plank. Now we've got our ballet squats, our dancer squat. Turn the toes out, knees are turned out. Now, pelvis is centered. Rock the pelvis forward and back until your tailbone is pointing straight down, right? And the front of the body, we're not hyperextending forward or leaning forward or vertical. Bring the arms out and then sink down. Okay, sink down here. Breathe through this. Breathe through this. Just come to the bottom and let's just think about technique. So let's start from your feet. With your feet, equal weight on your big toe as to your little toe. So we're not rolling in or rolling out. So start with the feet centered. Good. Then from there, the knees track over the feet. That means you've got to engage the, the quads and the glutes to turn the legs back. It's all for you rolling your femurs back in your legs. Arms in front, inhale, raise, open, in, lower, lift, out, lift, lower, breathe. All right, so this is just preparation. Warm it up. Four more. Four, three, two, one, hold here. Good. Now, try and keep your thighs exactly where they are. Roll one heel up. And then as that heel comes down, roll to the opposite foot. So you just roll, roll, roll. So you're kind of like, it's kind of like a wave. Rolling from one foot to the other. 
So again, time under tension. Time under tension. We're holding tension. We're getting the legs for sure. Right? Four, three, two, one. Stand up. Open. In. Lift. Yes. Ah. Who's ready to do that roll again? Right? It was so much fun the first time. We got to do it again. All right. Good. One more. Come back to the front. Hold. Roll. 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 So it's like your legs are kind of just doing this rolling from one heel to the other, but your legs are staying low. The foot is rolling underneath the body. Keep it going, everybody. Four more, three more, two more, and then stand up. Inhale, open. So the question is, my friends, can we do a third and final set? Third and final set? Yeah? This is our last standing leg exercise, so that's gotta be good, right? One more, come on up, hold, good, roll, mm -hmm. can you sink a little deeper? Yeah, you can, you try it, you work for this, all right, because when we are done this, we are not coming back, we're not coming back to this exercise, now that might be a happy, uh, happy thing for you, or not so happy, depending on if you like this one, here we go, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, hold. Inhale up. Exhale, flush it out. Woo! So good. Yeah, finish it. One more. Got it. Come open. But inhale, raise up. Exhale. As if nothing happened, walk your feet in. All right, roll through your feet, roll it out. So we've done our squats, we've done our lunges, we've done our push-ups, we've done our planks. What's left? Bridging and core, bridging and core. Okay, so let's come to the end of the mat so you got room to walk forward. Take a deep breath, inhale, raise up. Exhale, hinge forward. Walk forward. Oh. Good. Come to your plank, knees or toes, shift your weight forward, lower down. Point the toes away, forearms, inhale, lengthen the spine. To the posterior core, the back of your core. From your shoulders all the way to your feet. Slightly touch the chin. All right. Lower down halfway. One hand to the forehead, other hand, elbows wide. Good. You lower and lift. Now. The tendency is when we lift, the feet want to come up. So I'd like you to focus in to what's happening. The tops of the feet should stay down. The tops of the feet stay down. Keep it going, keep it going right there. Last four, three, we're gonna add on. Two, and one. Come down, rest. Okay, tops of the feet stay down. All right, press them down, kneecaps lift up. Okay, so hands back to where they were, lift up, reach out, in and lower. <sighs> Lift, reach, in and lower. Now, I really don't care how high you come up. If you're feeling it a lot in your low back, keep your extension lower. Try and keep it more in the upper back. Make it the upper back stronger is what you're really trying to do here, is making the upper back stronger. Right. One more. Good, and then rest. Okay, so now we're gonna do breaststroke from Pilates. Okay, so this is my variation of breaststroke. Okay, so hands in. Come into a slight extension because if you were breaststroking in the water, you would need to catch your breath, right? Okay, so the arms are back here when you do the breaststroke. They come up the side of your body, they glide forward, and then you pull up for a breath. Come up the side of the body, glide forward, pull up for the breath. Side of the body, glide, pull up. Oh, keep it going. Breathe through it. One more. Side of the body, pull, hold. Now, look over your right shoulder, reach that right hand towards your ankle. Center, left, center. Almost done. Four, center, 
three, center, look over the shoulder, two, center, one, center, hands down, knees down, push yourself up, child's pose. Ooh. All right, come around to a seated position. Seated position. Now, some of you did this with me last week, and you may thought it was fun or not fun, but we're gonna try it again. Okay, so, one leg is straight, one leg is bent, arms out, roll back. All the way. Okay, so, reach up, roll up, turn and place your hands where the straight leg is. Good, come back to the center, roll. So you're gonna to turn towards the straight leg. You're gonna curl, lift, place your hands. Come up, roll back. Ha. Huh. okay. So, this next movement, right, is going to really catch your core. It's all about core. Hands come down. Now you're gonna push into your bent knee, push your hands, lift your leg. Core is working, yes? Lower down and roll back. Whew. Roll up, hands down, lift up, lower. Now your leg is gonna feel really heavy if you try to lift your leg from your hip. Lift from your core, so the core lifts you up. Good. And then roll back. So you're going to get a lot of upper body strength as well. Good. Ah, one more. Good. Hold. Slow motion. Straight leg bends in, goes through, you switch. Bend, switch. Bend, switch. Bend, ha. Huh. Start to get your rhythm going. You can jump it. How's that going? Four, three, two. End up where you started. Sit down and legs out. Oh. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward bend. Touch your breath. Good. Inhale, reach up. Switch legs. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Roll. Good. Roll up. Hands down, come up, roll back. So you roll up, hands down, rotate, up. Now when you rotate, try not to lift the bent knee hip off the ground. Really make it about your thoracic spine rotating, right? So we're getting some mobility in the thoracic spine. This is a tough exercise, I know. So you go, take the progression that feels right for you. Okay, I'm gonna turn so you can see me. Good. Now, lift. Use your core, come down, roll back. Oh, we're almost done though, we're almost done. So that's really good, right? You've done your workout for the day, you can go on and enjoy your day, whatever your plans are. Two more like this and then we do that thread through, right? Oh, remember, if lifting up is just not there today, don't bother. Just rotate. Okay, here we go. Lift, rotate, lift. Step through and over. Over, through, through. Keep going for four, three, two, one. End here and roll back. Oh, you made it. Leg straight. Lengthen it out. Get a nice long stretch of the whole body. Inhale. Exhale. All right, we've got bridging left. Walk your feet in. Feet together, knees together, bridging, and then we're done. Arms down by your side. Okay, so squeeze the inner thighs together as if they're crazy glued together. They're right in. Good, roll from the pelvis, roll up, and come into your bridge. Now, after doing those curl ups, you might find that you're tight through the front of the hip, so this is a great counter um, stretch to what we just did. Now the tendency is when we go up, the knees wanna roll out. So push into your big toes, where they engage your inner thighs. When you engage your inner thighs, it ignites the pelvic floor, which is part of your inner core. 
So getting that inner core body working, okay? Hold for four, hold for three, two, and then lower your hips down. Okay, so now, for real. Okay, no wait, that wasn't for real. Yeah, it was right leg up. All right, right leg up. Pull back up. Now you wanna keep the legs close together so that you lower the right leg down, the inner thighs come together. Flex the foot and push away. Okay, so right here, this should be challenging. Point the toe, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. So a little Pilates here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Keep the leg going, but what I want you to focus in on is the tension in your facial muscles and your neck. Try to relax the upper body. Keep the work in the lower body, right? So from your rib cage down, think rib cage down. Up here, let's try and keep it relaxed as possible, right? So that you're really working where you need to be working, right? Good. Now, hold it here. Small circle on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So you're just drawing a circle on the ceiling. And then reverse the direction. Drawing that circle on the ceiling. Good. And then hold. Flex the foot, lower halfway, and then push the ceiling away. So you're pushing into the ceiling. Pushing into the ceiling. So you're trying to drive the hips up and that leg in the ceiling. Now if the back of your leg is tight and that's too much, bend your knee. You've got four more. Three more. Two more. One, now small pulses up, 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 up. So just really firing into your opposite leg. The one that's pushing, really press into it. Last four, three, two, one, and lower. Ooh, bend your knees, rock your knees side to side. We've got to do the other side, and then we get to stretch. That's good. Legs together. Stand your left leg straight up towards the ceiling. Push down and lift. Okay, so now try and keep this side fired up. Really make sure the hamstring glute's working as you take the leg out. Good, then point the toe up, down, up, flex, and lift. Watch that you're not hyperextending the rib cage. Keep the rib cage pulled in. So hyperextension looks like this. We kind of pop the abdominals up and the ribs up, so keep that connection of your hips to ribs. Two more. One more, hold, circle around, drawing that circle on the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. Circle the opposite way, so reverse the circle in the opposite direction, because my friends, we are finishing this. Huh? Almost there. <sighs> Good. And then hold, flex the foot, and push up into the ceiling. So you come down halfway, and then you drive up. You drive it up. Yep, almost done. Hold up, small pulses, contract, lift, lift. Press through the hip, eight, seven, six, last five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Bend your knee and sway the knees side to side. Oh my gosh, that went by quickly. All right, so let's just stretch it out. Woo wee. Okay, so knees bent, reach your arms up overhead, lengthen. Exhale. Bring your right knee into your chest and just hug that leg in, and then draw the leg in so we gently press the low back towards the floor. So a nice, gentle, easy stretch. Get it, and then release. Opposite leg comes in. Gentle, easy stretch through, pull it in. Good, and then switch again. This time bring the leg in, but extend it up. Flex the foot, take a hold of your leg wherever it feels like you can hold and get a nice stretch for you, and then gently pull down. Now you can keep this opposite knee bent or straighten it out. Now bend this leg, tuck your toes underneath the opposite knee. Now we're going to shift our hips, so we're going to lift up, pivot your hip underneath you, and rotate. So you slide the straight leg hip underneath. 
That way we, we minimize the low back rotation and we get more into the hip and the ribs. The low back isn't actually built to rotate, it's built to stabilize. So we want to minimize how much we put into the low back. And then come back to the center, scooch that hip back to where it was, right? And then bend this leg in, extend up, lengthen through that leg. You can now keep this leg bent or straight, you choose. And breathing through it. I swear, I'm gonna come out of this whole quarantine fitter than before. Because uh, I'm doing like two workouts a day. I'm doing this class with you guys and then I'm working out with the academy as well. Good, and then bend your knee. Curl the toe under, scoot your hips and rotate. Oh, all right, breathe through it. Just let the weight of your leg take the leg across your body. And then slowly unwind and bring your feet to the floor, pelvis level, and just let your hips rock side to side. If there's any tension in your low back, this is your opportunity to let it go. Okay, now you've got an option. You can roll to your side and come up, or I like to roll through my spine because it feels good. Hug the knees in, roll up, and come up. Swing yourself around. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, open. Some people have asked for Cooper to do a little, um, you know, uh, showing himself again. Um, Cooper, do you want to come and say hi to everybody? You want to come say hi? Come on down, Coop. Inhale up. Exhale, side bend. Good. In. Come on, Cooper. Inhale up. Exhale over. Roll the shoulder blades back. Hey, Cooper, come to mom. You want to come to mom? Say hi to everybody before we leave. We're leaving. They're leaving. I know. Say goodbye to everybody. Thanks for coming for the workout, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow at noon for Fusion Stretch. Bye.